important constructs in mathematics are functions. Uh, functions uh, they relate uh, make relationships between sets. So a function, more precisely, a function from set A. So if I have two sets A and B, a function from set A to set B relates each element A, small a, and capital A. So small a is referring to an element in the bigger set, the capital set A which is called the original. So I pick up this element in A and I assign to it some element in B. So a function from set A to set B relates each, each element A in A to precisely one element F of A in B. And this F A then is called the image of A under F, the function F. So may, we may denote this function by f a arrow b. So I pick up any element in a and create something in b. That's what f is doing. Then a is special because it's uh, it's called the domain of f. So it contains all values that are assigned to some value in b. This is also de denoted by DOM F or D subscript F. And B is called the codomain. It's basically stating, well, if I pick up some of the elements in A, then they are put somewhere inside B. And it's the codomain of F, the C DOM of F. A special, one other special set, which is contained in B, is the range of f and the range of f is just a set of all images so the range of f is also denoted by the ren of f and it's just a set of all images so all f of a where a is the original under this element f a so I vary over all elements in A. So as an example, consider the following function from R to R. So basically this function picks up some number and creates another number. That's what it's doing. And I have a very specific uh, function prescript, which says, well, if I pick up a number X, then I just take the power of four. So the domain of this function is basically R. Yeah, so the domain is R. The codomain is just written here on the right hand side. It's just indicating where my elements in R are mapped into. So this is R. And the range, of course, if I take any number X, if I take the power of four of those numbers, then I create non-negative numbers and it's not hard to show that it actually what I get is this set R plus, which is called is this set is the open interval or the, the closed interval on the left hand side containing the zero until infinity.